Um, hey, what's up? Uh, now I will create some entities which are tables. So the first one will be called um, users.entity.typescript like this. And just to start, we need to import from type RM the entity decorator and the column decorator and the primary generated decorator primary, ge primary generated column decorator and the one to many decorator uh, I won't go into details about type RM uh, but I have a set of videos uh, you can, show, you can um, see so this will help us to create the model which is um, the table now to start so I will just use this entity decorator and export class called users entity so first thing this will have id uh, id property as primary generated column I'm not sure why this is complaints yeah because the experimental decorators I think I showed you how we can do it right I think it's in the starting video but if be, but if I did not you need to get them I'll just show them to you and copy paste so in our TS config I think I did maybe not so we just need this file here so TS config.json so this is basically uh, tells the TypeScript compiler our options so this is our out directory when we compile this this will be the, um, here the TypeScript compiler will put the output inside this folder and we have uh, the library and uh, there is actually um, you don't need to care about uh, but this error came from that these uh, two parameters by default are false so we are just enabling that and the compiler will compile everything inside the source um, I, I should have uh, showed you this from the beginning I'm sorry but yeah so we have this class entity so each property if you decorate it by one of the type RM decorators this will be migrated to the table that represents that is represented by this entity so now we, now we have an ID which is auto incremented and a primary so the second thing I will define a column called first name like this and with, this is decorated by the column and of type string of the column decorator and if you pass you can pass a set of op options to the decorator to each decorator by the way even this uh, now the name is first underscore name I like my database names to be a uh, uh, snake case and my JavaScript name to be camel case and nullable false so I'll just put multiple columns uh, last name same thing so yeah I'll just make these fast so path of date will be of type date this is the only difference here by default it's a string or var car and I will have an email to make it unique you will pass unique true here and that's it and now we have a type so this is from the user type which is um, just a string we can put it here but uh, since I am using SQLite there is no enums when you define types for users or anything like this please don't put them as 0 or 1 because it's not readable at all especially in the database especially for new developers coming to your application so just use enum or a string like this uh, I will show you how we can do it in enum but let's just continue everything now uh, password it will be a string and salt will be string so this is the password and the salt and we will have the access token but this is not decorated so this is won't be migrated to the database this is just a property to the user's ent entity and if you are using an enum which should which uh, you should use if you are using mysql or postgres you would do it like this so you will define an enum like this users will be equal to user 
or and admin will be equal to admin as a string and the column the default value will be users type dot user and enum you will pass your enum and the type enum this is how you should do it in um, postgres or mysql now the second uh, thing i will show you is this decorator by default will create a table from this class with the name users entity but i don't like this to override it you will pass an object with the name users like this so this is the name of the table created and i will create now uh, the created and updated at columns so this is um, usually timestamps and refers to when the, this record got created or when this re uh, when this record got updated so let's create that here I will call it shared property dot entity dot TypeScript. Since all entities in our application will use these two things, or have these two columns, I will just extend them in, in each of our entities. So I will import update date and create date columns from TypeORM, and just to create a class without uh, decorating it with the entity. So now TypeORM will just won't be, um, or at least won't know about this. So I will just copy paste to save some time. So I will decorate this created at of type date uh, with this uh, with this create date column and default uh, the current timestamp type date time and this is the name just to make it snake case the same thing for the update and now we need to extend that here so extends like this and to make everything more uh, or at least to have things more um, interesting I will create another entity called posts.entity I will just make things fast so I will import uh, the column the entity uh, this primary generated column uh, many to one and join column all of these are decorators from type RM. I will import the shared properties and the user entities we will create a relation between them now uh, I will create this post, posts entity and now I will just put some usual stuff so now we will have an ID which is auto incremented uh, a title and a body like this so the type of the body is text this is just a varchar now to create a relation I will uh, it's not necessarily but I will I will define this user ID which is named as user underscore ID this is uh, at the moment it's just a normal uh, column to make it uh, uh, or at least to tell types type or that this is the foreign key you will put you will use these so one too many uh, you will read it like this many many posts belongs to one uh, users like this so I, I know I'm making things really fast, but this is how we'll, you, you will usually do it. And this is the join column. This is my uh, named user underscore ID. So this is the foreign keys, the key that references the user. And from the user, how to access each user posts like this, users.posts. As you can see, there is now an error. We need to add this posts property inside the user's entity. And by the way, I think I made a mistake. You don't need to actually do this. And um, so this by default will create a column called uh, user ID like this. To override this, you will use the join column generator and give it a name. But this won't be, or at least a TypeScript will complain about that the user and the user ID does not exist in your. Uh, in your model or your in your entity instances so when you when you retrieve posts you won't be able to access uh, the user ID like this because it will complain it does not exist here so to override this and to access it as something like this a camel case you will put this uh, like you will put these two columns so you would just define it as a normal column and type RM is smart enough to understand that this is the representation in the entity for the foreign key user underscore ID. Uh, 
I'm, I'm, maybe I'm making things more complicated, but um, I hope this is clear. I, I'll just I this is not about ty type or M, so I'll just uh, I'll just uh, make this fast. So now in the other part in the users, what you need to do is since we imported one too many, so one user entity belongs to or has many posts entity. So we can do it like this. At the end here, and let's import the post entity. So I want too many uh, post entity, and to access each each user for each post like this post to user. And this is the cascade on update and on delete. So just delete it if uh, I've got deleted. And uh, posts. So yeah, I think that's it. Now we can to run it we need to tell type or m about our entities so here import from posts entity and also sorry and also import our users entity and now here put just put them like this Now, if we run npm run dev app, sorry, source app.ts, so no errors. Let's just check our database. I'm using SQLite, I can open it in VS Code. So we have our, let me close everything to have some space. So we have our posts and our users with the created that, updated that, uh, title ID, everything. So everything is here, which is nice. Uh, I think now in the next video, I'll show you how we can create a CRUD operations uh, on these uh, tables. And thank you.